end of what you get right now. He's off to a fantastic start through four games this season. Blau, quick set and throw. Terry Wright. Trying to Joe Tiller years ago right here in this place. More innovation coming from the Purdue offensive factory as face mask flags fly everywhere. Team least penalties, P.J. Flex, Golden Gophers, but they're a big one. Blau to throw off play action, goes sideline, touchdown! And quite frankly, it could have been one of two receivers. Cole Herman, the tight end, is a very good receiving tight end. Facility and weight room, they needed a drone to capture it as Terry Wright has this grab from Blau, who's been an 80%. Markel Jones back from injury with play. And that makes no sense, but this seems to be working well for both of these guys currently. Blau to the outside, Jared Sparks, the red shirt freshman, and for more on David Blau. Also was in a two quarterback system as well. Yeah, he made Brian do it. <laughs> Just for good measure. That one's intercepted, Blau picked off. Kunle Allende, the red shirt senior. Good Blau has been in the first half, 80%, three touchdowns. That's his first interception in the first half, and that was just simply a bad decision. Older and all the younger brother stuff, and their defense is playing very well at the right time. Knox finds a crease. The Heisman at about a third of the way through this season. Blau to throw on second down, down the middle, looks for the tight end. Right going down and getting a ball that wasn't well thrown by Plow. A lot of times with quarterbacks, you have a rule of thumb. I think it could have been, but the interception to me was more about a really, really bad idea. Blau on third down. He can run, and he does run. Near midfield for the midfield. Play action. He saw the pressure coming. He hits Sparks, who turns it upfield and gets leveled at the 45-yard line. A decision for Plow post-snap like it was on that play. DJ Knox withstands a tackle as well. What do you gain? I think you just gain a look whether they're going to bring pressure or not from the defensive side, which they do. Well, they got a real good look at that pressure. Barber can't they have a defense. A defender that has three guys blocking him. Obviously, that was a missed assignment by Shane Evans. Pressure coming again. Blau steps up and he airmailed it. That might be the win you were talking about. Could it would be the engineers here at Purdue? Blau to throw third and forever. Check down for Knox. A lot of space for Knox across the 30. Jet sweep. Jackson Anthrop. First down. Father was a basketball player at Purdue as well. They roll the pocket with Blau. More room to run. Wide open space for Blau inside. The decisions in creating things with his feet. Worship the tailback in motion. Blau wanted to run. And he loses a lot of room. Celestine. Eric Swingler, the tackle, has checked in. Eligible. And he's plowing forward for touchdowns, one field goal. That's pretty good. Play number 13 of the drive. Blau into coverage, intercepted. Chris, thank you. New quarterback for Purdue, Elijah Sindelar, who usually takes the second quarter, is in after three drives went touchdown, interception, interception for Blau. He's got Markel Jones back from injury behind him, so an all-new tandem there as Sindelar throws into the lawn. Second and ten, Chris Button. Yeah, grew up like he did. Yeah, that's an interception he would like to have back, certainly. And there's that rub play that Purdue likes to run. Affect his throws, and we've already seen that. That one to the sideline went into the dirt early. Jones. Finds a crease and a first down for the Boilermakers, just short of both. But if there's one of the two he'd rather go deep with, it would be Sindelar. This is a screen for Terry Wright, who surges across midfield. Ball loose, and we'll see who comes up with it. Barber knocked it out. Minnesota is pointing go for ball. Let's see. And Wright is still down on the ground and appears to be hurt. The question is whether he... 
had a knee down before this ball came out. The officials are taught to let it play out. Don't blow the ball dead. Minnesota came up with it. Sindelar back in after taking over second quarter. They run with Jones and because rain is on its way to West Lafayette. Sindelar on the screen has a first down for Anthony Mahungu down the sideline and just longest play of his career. Sindelar is hit and down he goes. Ball loose. Batted around. Is it another Purdue turnover? Jackson knocked it away. Merrick Jackson. And it is Minnesota football. Andrew Stelter the recovery. Well, they don't win games right Going on now. The field is a fumble recovered by the defense. First down, Minnesota. I think that ball is clearly out. There isn't any doubt about that. And again, we get back to, was there an immediate recovery? Three is the worst you can do, and Minnesota coughs it up, and Purdue now has the ball. Could have been a two-score game. Is not quick hit for Anthrop, turning it upfield to the 15. You don't want to see that, and Minnesota will needs to live on turnovers and certainly not turning the ball over themselves. Here right now. I agree with Jeff Brom. <laughs> Very innovative mind, but sometimes it's terribly simple as well. Quick hitter goes. That myself, and it was only a matter of time before he moved up to this level. We'll see if he can get it done in the Big Ten. Sindelar rolling out, wanted to uncork, and now he takes a dive. So th obviously throw it. Yeah, you don't want to run on Jeff Brahm out there at center. Sindelar lets it rip, nearly intercepted. Huff had the last hand on it. Knocks the tail back, and he is charged with getting some yardage here. He thought about spinning it outside, now goes up the middle on the ESPN app as well. Purdue is going to run another play, and it's Knox. Sindelar to throw on his first play, a check down for Jones and an open field tackling. And then passing when defenses try to load the box. A run for Jones with a big gap and chopped down by Huff right at the mark. It's laying the foundation, bringing your culture in and trying to get the players as soon as you can on your roster. Sindelar for Sparks and the freshman turns it upfield just short of the line. Screen and then you just get it to a playmaker and let him get yards. Jones could not keep his feet. Seen the pass game 20 yards and shorter to here this afternoon. Jones straight up the middle, inviting contact with Celestine, and he won. Jones did. Offense coming in with some slow games, although close games, as Sindelar whips it for Zico, and he couldn't hang on. Kentucky. He played in some mop-up duty last year, five games as a reserve, and he hands it off this time. Third, really struggled on third down this year, 31% for the season. Sindelar, shovel pass, great call. Markel Jones to the 15. Patient right there by Jeff Braun. He learned from Bill Walsh, among others, in his 49er days. Sindelar runs right into the pressure from Carter Coughlin, who had one round the inch. No real move. He just ran the rail, as they say, Carter Coughlin, and got around the big offensive tack. Screen game for Purdue up to this point in time. Sindelar rolling the pocket, dumps it off for Knox. Upfield he goes. Touchdown, DJ Knox. His progression, it was a smash route out to the right side, a corner route, a receiver sitting in the flat, and then DJ Knox is the outlet receiver and really late from his running back position. You could literally hear him. I was waving like a queen of a parade or something. Looked like you were on a back lot tour. That one's incomplete. Too high. It's an expansive. That thing part goes of the country. 75 mile an hour down the highway. There's no way in the world. Isn't that amazing? Here's another trick play from Purdue. Anthrop. Job of sorting out the defenders from Minnesota. 
Sindelar, the sophomore, over the middle. That was a line drive caught by her. Flea flicker again. Sindelar loads it up. Down the field at the 35. 216 through the air for Purdue. Jet sweep. Greg Phillips knocked down on a nice play. Back on that over route. So Sparks did a great job of going up and snatching that football. Sindelar steps up, throws it all the way across the field. Phillips breaks a tackle. And he is to the 15. There is a flat. And finding the quarterback, and the offensive lineman does not know that and just hangs on to anything he can. So they lose 25 yards on the penalty, and they lose. Sindelar, third down throw. Pocket collapsed. He felt that it. it's incomplete. Best field position for the Boilermakers in a long while. And Jones was sent back by the immediate. He shaded over the guard somewhere. Here's a guy with three sacks the last couple years against Purdue. Richardson, as this is Jones, tripped up back. At Jones on the delay. Oh, what a big play. On the jackknife he can do everything some say Sindelar who's been in since the fourth drive hits there's the positive but then those negatives start to show up and there really isn't any upside anymore DJ Knox who had coming into this game Sindelar finds himself some time and nearly had it picked off Allende would have had his second inter... Your feet aren't going to be set. It's more of a matter of following through and learning that you're going to have to throw off platform. Anthrop on the screen with a convoy. Anthrop on the run inside the 30. Maker, his brother, a former football player. Other brother played basketball. Dad did too. Phillips on the outside was dead. Purdue with Knox. DJ Knox and a flag is in. It's a first down, but it may come back. That was an incredible jump cut by Knox, but this may be Shane Evans on the Holding. hold again. Offense, number 75, 10 yard penalty, second down. It is. And that was really to the play side originally, and then Knox's jump cut took him clear back to the left. That's a handful up front by Richardson, the defensive tackle, 96, and then Jackson, 93. In the middle of the screen, you can see 75 with the hole. Time Purdue's lost a first down in the red zone off a holding penalty. Knox again, gets it back and more to the 10 yard. In the first half, the run game for Purdue was pretty much non-existent. Knox has actually added a little bit of juice. Knox tripped up. Barber wins this time. Sindelar, the throw, and he missed Anthrop. Third and goal. And that was all about time. Jones, outside, stopped. Start the game, but he's had the controls of the offense since drive number four. Markel Jones gets the carry. Two time line of scrimmage and go again. Over the middle, he's got the tight end Bryson Hopkins, his first grab. We'll see who it even might be in the case of a game winner. Sindelar over the middle on a cross. Mahungu inside the 20 yard line. Jones on the run, cuts inside, touchdown Purdue! Sindelar to make it a seven point game. He's got it! Phillips, 24-7.